To divide x squared plus 3x minus 40 by x minus 5, we start by writing down the x minus 5 and use the regular division notation. So the x minus 5 goes on the outside, and the x squared plus 3x minus 40 goes on the inside. We have to make sure that the x squared, well, we have to make sure that the numerator is in descending order of power, and we also have to make sure that the divisor is in descending order of power. Both of these are, so we can proceed by, and divide. Okay, so the very first thing we do is we look at the leading term here of x, and we want to make it go into the leading term here of x squared. So the question that we ask is, what times x gives us x squared? The answer to that is x, so we put an x on the top here. The next thing we do is we take this x and multiply it by x minus 5. x times x is x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x, so we put minus 5x right here. And we always want to line our terms up. After we multiply, we do the subtraction, just like in regular division. So we subtract off the entire quantity of x squared minus 5x from x squared plus 3x. x squared minus x squared is equal to 0. 3x minus a minus 5x is equal to 8x. So we put that 8x right here. Next we bring down the next term in line, which is minus 40. Then we repeat this exact same process. We look at the leading term x and the leading term of 8x here. What times x is equal to 8x? The answer is plus 8. So we put a plus 8 up here, and then we multiply 8 times x minus 5, and we put it down here. 8 times x is 8x. 8 times negative 5 is negative 40. And then we subtract. 8x minus 8x is 0. Negative 40 minus a minus 40 is really negative 40 plus 40, and that's equal to 0. So in this case, x minus 5 goes in evenly to x squared plus 3x minus 40, because we have no remainder. We have a remainder of 0, so that means we have no remainder. So that means that x squared plus 3x minus 40 divided by x minus 5 is equal to what we have up here, x plus 8. Okay, let's do another one. We'll do 6x squared plus 13x plus 8 divided by 2x plus 1. Okay, so we put the 2x plus 1 into 6x squared plus 13x plus 8. Okay, so once again, the very first step that we do is we make sure each polynomial is in descending order, and they both are. Okay, descending order of powers. Next, we go to the leading guy out here, 2x, and we figure out what times it is equal to this leading guy of 6x squared. 2x times 3x gives us 6x squared. Okay, so 3x is the term we put up here, and then we multiply. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times 1 is plus 3x. And then we subtract. 6x squared minus 6x squared is 0. 13x minus 3x is 10x. And then we bring down the next term in line, plus 8. Okay, so now we figure out how many times 2x goes into 10x. 
And the answer to that is 5. So we put a plus 5 here. Okay, 5 times 2x is 10x. 5 times 1 is 5. So we put plus 5 there. And then we subtract. Don't forget those parentheses. 10x minus 10x is 0. 8 minus 5 is 3. Okay, now once we're at this step, we notice that 2x does not go into 3. So once our remainder has a smaller degree than this divisor, we know that we're done dividing, and this guy is simply our remainder. Okay, so the way we take care of this is the following. 6x squared plus 13x plus 8 divided by 2x plus 1 is equal to 3x plus 5 from here. plus the remainder of 3 divided by the divisor of 2x plus 1. And now we're done. Okay, let's do one more. We'll do 2x squared minus 30 divided by 3 plus x. Okay, so we start by putting the divisor on the outside of the division symbol. Remember that we have to have our polynomials in descending order, so rather than putting 3 plus x here, I'm going to put x plus 3. And then we put our dividend underneath the division sign. So we start off with the 2x squared. Now you'll notice that there is no x term in this quadratic. So the way we do that when we do polynomial division is we put a placeholder. Okay, so when you're missing a variable or you're missing a term in your polynomial, you put a placeholder by putting a 0x. Okay, so we're missing the x term. So we put plus 0x just for that placeholder and then minus 30. And then we divide as usual. x times what gives us 2x squared? The answer is x times 2x gives us 2x squared. So now we multiply 2x by this x plus 3. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 3 is 6x. So plus 6x. And now we subtract. 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0. 0x zero minus 6x is minus 6x. And now we bring down the next term of minus 30. x times what? gives us negative 6x. The answer to that is negative 6. So we put a minus 6 up here. And now we multiply. Negative 6 times x is negative 6x. Negative 6 times 3 is negative 18. And now we subtract. negative 6x minus a minus 6x is 0. negative 30 minus a minus 18 is negative 12. Okay, so now we've reached a remainder which is a smaller degree than our divisor, so we know that we're done dividing. We just write down the result. So this here, 2x squared minus 30 divided by 3 plus x is equal to 2x minus 6 minus 12 divided by x plus 3. And we're done.